I will be talking about foraging behavior in shore crabs. The idea is that because an animal's choice in seeking food involves a trade-off between the food's energy content and the cost of obtaining it. Foraging behavior. Foraging behavior is a procedure in which an organism finds food to consume. Some animals show active foraging and some animals show the sit and wait tactic. In this slide, I will be talking about optimal prey choice. Optimal prey choice is a system that is used to suggest what food the prey will consume. It is done so they maximize their energy on catching their prey. Also, uh, balance risk benefits. Shore crabs have large crustaceans, wide cell, pincers, and varying color and size. Most of shore crabs eat the small prey which are omnivores, plants, worms, and muzzles and barnacles. Based on based on the book, we can note that the optimal foraging theory included these contents. Minimize the cost of foraging, maximize the benefits to the consumer. So do crabs eat sensibly? Because of the optimal foraging, the behavior that maximizes energy intake increases predation risk. A shore crab foraging for mussels on the beach exposes itself to predatory gulls and other shorebirds with each foray. So the behavior that maximizes fitness may reflect a trade-off, obtaining the most energy with the least risk of being eaten. What does a shore crab do? The shore crab can demonstrate selectively in the type of muzzle foraged. So if the crab chooses less than 10 millimeters in length that are easy to grab, to open, it takes least amount of energy. And if the crab chooses 30 millimeters in length, it takes up most energy. How does this affect their survival? When the shore crabs are near the competitor and start to find the food, they should consume the food immediately. The shore crabs use the pincers to take off the muzzle cells. Whoever gets the food, it will survive. To obtain the most net energy, the optimal approach described by the blue curve in the graph above would be for shore crabs to feed primarily to intermediate size muzzles about 22 millimeters in length. The results the obtained, the numbers of muzzles of each size actually in are presented in the red histogram above. So these are the sources that were used. Thank you for listening.